So today we are going to give our honest feedback on Scratch Sport Hydration Drink Mix in the Summer Peach flavor. Personally, I was riding on the trainer the other day and Alex made me some of this with the concentration that is recommended. And my honest to goodness thought was, this tastes like vomit. I actually thought it tasted like tea at the concentration that they recommend. I tried it also at three times concentration and it was like bordering on tasting good. And I think if I did it at like six to 10 times concentration, it would taste really good. I, for the record, did try this more concentrated and it did taste a little bit better, but still I was very disappointed because when I saw this package, I thought, wow, this is beautiful. Summer peach sounds awesome. And I was sorely disappointed with this flavor. Looking at the ingredients, uh, the first ingredient is cane sugar and that is a 50-50 ratio of glucose and fructose. Exactly what you want. The next ingredient is peach. I don't know if that means they actually took a peach and put it in a food processor. I don't know if there's including the fiber in the peach. I don't know, I have no idea. The next ingredient is dextrose, which is glucose. Sodium citrate, which I am a huge fan of because sodium citrate is a better form of sodium than sodium chloride, which is table salt because it causes less GI distress. Citric acid uh, gives it flavor. There's magnesium lactate, probably not going to do anything beneficial here. Then there's calcium citrate, potassium citrate, and ascorbic acid. First of all, there's pretty much no reason to add calcium anything into an endurance or sport supplement. If we need calcium in our bloodstream, the body will take it from our bones. The body likes to have a very specific range of calcium in the blood. Potassium citrate, which is in this supplement, might not be the best thing because in taking too much potassium, especially relative to sodium, can actually cause really detrimental results during endurance performance. Yeah, if you want to cramp really fast, you can drink a bunch of potassium-rich water without sodium. Coconut water? Yeah, co coconut water is a great example, and you'll flush out sodium faster than you want to, and you'll end up having electrolyte imbalance. Pair that with fatigue and you get cramps. It says, as a starting point, drink one to two servings for every hour of exercise. If you are consuming one serving per hour, that's only 19 grams of carbs, and that's extremely low. And if you want more information on exactly how many carbs to consume per hour, we have a video on that. Go check it out. So they have a list of six micronutrients here on the bottom of the package, and none of it matters. Moving on. <laughs> what you want to look for on a package is how many grams of carbohydrates are there? What are the carbohydrates coming from? Are they coming from both glucose and fructose? That's what you want. How much sodium is in it? And how much water do I drink with it? That's really literally all you need to worry about. And you might want to watch out for how much other stuff they add, like potassium. You definitely don't want more potassium than sodium. Probably could do with like a tenth as much potassium as sodium, or maybe. 25% as much or maybe half as much, but that'd be pretty high. That's a great point about sugar composition. Where are the sugars coming from? You don't have a mix of glucose and fructose. You can't consume enough carbs per hour. And if you consume more than 60 grams an hour of glucose or maybe 70 grams an hour of glucose, you're almost guaranteed to have GI distress. Which is so fun. So based on dextrose being in the third position on the ingredient list, we know that there's half as much dextrose as there is cane sugar in the supplement. And what that means is we know that glucose can be no more than two thirds of the supplement. Another thing I like about Scratch is that the only form of sodium that I can see on the ingredient list comes from sodium citrate. And that's the ideal source of sodium because it's easiest on your GI tract. Even though potassium is not necessary in a supplement like this, for one serving, there's only 76 milligrams of potassium and 380 milligrams of sodium. That's not bad. There are a lot of other supplements that I've seen where the potassium to sodium ratio is a lot closer, which is a no, no go. So this really isn't terrible. The number one thing to keep you hydrated in a supplement is sodium. And they pack in 380 milligrams of sodium per scoop and they recommend a scoop per hour. 380 milligrams per hour is pretty darn low. If hydration is the goal, you could probably use three times that much. You're gonna wanna make it a little bit more concentrated anyway, because you're gonna taste that dilute, nasty flavor, and you're gonna be like, wow, I need to put some more flavor in it. The good news is if you dump three or four scoops in a liter of water and you consume that in one hour, you're getting pretty close to optimal sodium and carbohydrate. So if I were to maximize my fueling and have optimal carbs, and optimal sodium for a five hour bike ride using this package, I would use the entire package in five hours. If you really like this flavor, is you could pour some scoops in your liter bottle, and then if you needed more carbohydrate and you didn't wanna add any more sodium, you could just dump some plain white sugar in there 
and it'd be great. And plain white sugar is awesome because it is that 50% glucose and 50% fructose, which is exactly what you want anyway. If you're wondering why the package says as a starting point, use one to two servings per hour, it's probably just because this company is worried that if you drink too much mix and don't have enough water and you screw up your hydration, you are going to have GI distress. And if you have GI distress, you're gonna tell everybody that this product sucks and it makes you sick to your stomach when you're training or racing. And then nobody's going to want to buy this product. So like all products, they underdose sodium and carbs. But a lot. I don't blame Scratch too much for that. It's probably one of the better hydration products I've seen. And it's hard to sell a product if you have to say, we need you to take a quarter of the package for every hour of exercise. People aren't gonna to wanna to spend $4 per hour on exercise. It's a beautiful package though. I know, I really loved it. Of all the supplements we bought, I was super stoked about this packaging. This is $20 for a 20 serving package. You can get the 60 serving package for $50. So let's say, Alex, I was going to go on a six hour bike ride. How much money would I have to spend? $24 on a six hour bike ride if you're gonna fuel optimally using this. Scratch makes a fueling specific product that has way more carbohydrate and not enough sodium. Maybe if you combine the two, you can get away with it, but uh, this is like one of the most expensive products you can buy. 20 bucks a ride. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit that Walmart sugar aisle, honestly. Thanks so much for watching. I hope it was useful for you. If you have any questions or any products that you want us to review, let us know in the comments. It seriously does taste like Walmart. Let's move on. Okay.